Hey, what's going on YouTube? We're down here at the corner of Clinton and Glenwood and uh, I'm going to take you guys through the redevelopment of Glenwood Avenue right now. It's been closed on and off for about a year and a half, maybe two years. So uh, let's take a look. And before we get started, thank you to all the Patreon supporters and click subscribe down below so you don't miss future updates. So the uh, railroad underpasses are right down there. And here's uh Here's the redevelopment on Glenwood in progress. We'll also take a look at the former Sharky's Diner. Looks like they've done a lot of uh, sidewalk work and the road itself has been completely rebuilt. I believe they were even putting new pipes in last time I was here. Or last time I drove by anyway. Belknap Lumber off to the uh, left over there. Speedway. And like I said, we'll take a look at Sharky's as well. Uh, it closed when they couldn't find a buyer for it. I guess the old owner didn't want to be in the business anymore. But this area really needed it. Glenwood Avenue has been uh, in pretty bad condition for a long time. So it's the corner of Hazel Street. Here's the famous uh, Sharky's. They actually got a new sign a few years back after a truck hit it. Oh, they've boarded up all the windows. Let's see if we can take a peek inside. Due to water main maintenance on Glenwood Avenue, your water will be shut off. Uh, it's just a notice about the road work. Oh, wow, it's like gutted inside. Yeah, the bar's gone. Looks like they ripped out the kitchen and all the back room. Man, I had a lot of good meals in this place. The restaurant itself was uh, kind of in rough shape, but the food was still good. Probably going to need new shoes after walking across that. Looks like they're still paving up ahead. Corner of Lake Ave and Glenwood now. So yeah, now we're coming up on Baxter Street. The new uh, BC Transit bus signs are up. They look really good. Miles Street and Glenwood. Looks like it's pretty thick too. There's like at least two inches on top and probably another two or three on the bottom. This part of Glenwood looks like it's actually finished. I don't think they have any more layers to put on here. I could be wrong about that. <clears throat> The big ass steamroller up here. Get 
get the impression that there used to be a lot more small mom and pop businesses along the street back in the day, but not anymore. Walmart down the block put them all out of business. Just kidding. That happened long before Walmart got here. At the funeral home across the street over there. It's a really warm day today. It's like 90 degrees out or close to it. Feels like it anyway. It's been a very, very warm spring so far. All right, and now we're at the corner of Downs Avenue in Glenwood. And again, this uh, road is closed right here. So you can't go down Glenwood at all, which is really inconvenient because it's a great shortcut from Main Street up to the highway and Main Street up to the rest of Johnson City. The way you know the correct turn to go down Downs Avenue is when you hit this Spanish looking church structure here. At least I think it looks Spanish. I don't know if it is or not. It's kind of nice having a lot less traffic here. You don't have to worry about getting run over. So yeah, there's the uh, there's the reconstruction of Glenwood Avenue. It's been closed on and off last summer and now into this summer. So I thought it'd be interesting and fun, especially for you guys that don't live in the area anymore to get a look at what's going on in an old neighborhood over here. So like I said earlier, uh, be sure to click the subscribe button down below so you don't miss future updates and give the video a thumbs up would really help me out. And uh, we'll see you guys in a future video. Thanks a lot.